Welcome. It's a pleasure to be with all of you tonight, albeit virtually, for the 2021 Ascend Gala. For those of you I haven't yet had the chance to meet, I'm Marilyn Wiley, Dean of the G. Brent Ryan College of Business, and I'm happy to be your host this evening as we reflect back on a year that has certainly been one for the books. While we can't see each other's faces, I know that our virtual room is full of outstanding students, distinguished alumni, talented faculty and staff, and our generous scholarship donors and supporters. We also have several of our advisory board members with us here this evening, and a number of the members of the UNT leadership team. And I wanna thank all of you for taking the time out of your very busy schedule to celebrate with us. Each year, we host this gala to recognize our outstanding students and alumni. And while we were unable to gather last spring, I'm delighted to be here with you now as we do two years worth of celebrating. This has always been probably my favorite event of the whole year because it's an opportunity for us to see our outstanding students who have earned recognition, the alumni and donors who support those students on their journey, and the exemplary leaders who students can aspire to be when they seek role models that we induct into our Hall of Fame and our Rising Star Circle. It's no secret that 2020 brought us a whole new set of challenges that no one could have anticipated. It seemed as if our entire college was suddenly flipped upside down, but we showed the world that no matter what the situation, we can turn ourselves around and rise to the top. From our IT team who seemingly moved mountains to ensure in a 10 day period that everyone had the technical support and resources that they needed, to our faculty who swiftly adapted to the virtual classroom, our college truly proved to know no bounds. Despite everything we were faced with, our students excelled, our programs thrived, and our enrollment soared. And we have so many great examples of the wonderful things that happened. Emily Ruggiero, risk management and insurance major, became one of just 36 students from around the world to earn the 2020 Anita Benedetti Student Involvement Program Award. Roderick Henderson, Sport Entertainment Management MBA candidate, placed first in the Baylor S3 Tickets Inside a Thon competition. A team of UNT students placed in the top four during the annual 2020 Intermodal Expo Academic Challenge. Three of our business analytics students worked together to earn a spot in the top five out of 500 entering schools in the Humana Maze Healthcare Analytics Case Competition. And Monica Kabuti, accounting doctoral student, was a winner of the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants Doctoral Students Minority Fellowships, one of only 25 fellows selected for that award. And those are just a few of this year's highlights. I could continue to list everything our college has done to make us proud, and there are so many things, but instead I thought you might appreciate a video to help us reflect on some of our most valued individuals and most prized accomplishments from 2020. Here we go.
love seeing that. It makes me so proud. Despite all the challenges of 2020, it's truly remarkable to see everything that was accomplished. We have an incredible student body. We have a passionate team of faculty and staff and a generous group of alumni and donors and friends to thank for these successes. Everyone here tonight is a true testament to what this UNT family can do when they come together in the face of adversity. Whether you're a scholarship recipient who worked hard to earn and retain an impressive GPA, a donor who gave a transformational gift to alleviate college debt and empower our students, or a faculty member who is an influential part of our students' lives, you are all inspiring change makers. The students of this college continually charge us to push boundaries, provide innovative classroom experiences, and develop new opportunities to learn and grow from. We are so proud to have a number of students who, despite having to navigate a completely new college experience this year, and not necessarily one they chose, were still able to lead their class to success. We classify these individuals as our outstanding students, and I would like to take a moment to recognize them by having their names scroll on your screens. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Those students were selected by the faculty of their departments and programs for truly standing out amongst their peers. And all of you prevailed. Congratulations again. And not only are our outstanding students worthy of applause, but our scholarship students as well, who are also selected based on merit. This year, more than ever before, we were so proud and honored to be able to award our students with financial aid to help them on their academic journeys. It's because of our pool of scholarships and the donors who established them out of the generosity in their hearts that many of our high achieving students were able to continue pursuing their degrees. So many students lost jobs that they depended on to afford tuition and for them, the scholarships they earned through the G. Ryan College of Business were truly transformational gifts for their future. Please join me in congratulating the scholarship recipients of the 2020-2021 academic year.
had many deserving students to choose from, but to our winners, we were thrilled to have all of you make that list. Thank you for making us proud. And again, thank you so much to the generous donors that are here with us tonight, who are the true heroes for making all of this possible. Your support means the world to us. And we are so grateful to honor your legacies through the success of our students. We have a few of our scholarship recipients that would like to share a few words with you all on what their scholarship means to them. I went back to school at 22. Uh, and so I, I really wanted to finish my, my bachelor's and ended up getting a master's as well. Um, and scholarships and grants really helped me to, to make that a possibility. <laughs> um, and I'm very grateful for them. To be able to have the scholarship to allow me to do school and everything is, is really important and really special to me. My scholarship has had an incredible impact on my academic career. It has allowed me to be more financially independent and with that I can worry less about working more hours and instead use that money and use that time to focus on my studies, build my savings and invest in other aspects of my future. The scholarships that have been given to me um, by the College of Business have really allowed me to find my passion. My scholarship has helped me focus on my studies and really be able to devote myself to that as opposed to being spread between work and school. I just think I'm, be, I'm able to focus more so on my studies and that's what's allowed me to succeed. Cost is like one of the biggest barriers um, to obtaining a degree so I'm very grateful for the scholarship that I've received. The scholarship has really created a lot of opportunities uh, dating back even to my undergrad from 05 to 09. It was a big reason why I chose North Texas to come here. To the donors that have helped me personally, I would say that thank you for giving me the opportunity to grow as a person. I thank you all so much for helping to get me to where I need to be. Thank you for putting your money into our students and just being very generous through money. I want to give a huge thank you to the Dake family donors for this generous scholarship. Thank you so much for making such a good investment. I hope you will see the returns with us succeeding. I would like to thank the donors of my scholarship. So it's really um, helped me be able to consider all of my options with my career. In addition to um, the Mr. and Ms. Roy Fund and Mr. and Ms. Green, uh, I just want to say thank you. You know, I think a lot of times people don't get to say it enough, but hearing it from the person who actually got the scholarship, uh, this has made a profound impact on my ability to pay for my MBA and uh, use it as a wise investment on a way forward for my career. So thank you guys very much for your generosity. For the donors, I'd like to say thank you so much for your generosity and contributions. It makes an impact, especially for first generation students like myself. I used every penny of it and it was, took me one step closer to being student debt free. Thank you to the Lupe Murchison Fellowship for really sponsoring my graduate degree. Um, I'm so proud to know that I go to an institution that supports um, the students that are pursuing their careers there. I'm just very thankful that everybody believed in me and I got these opportunities. Thanks to their generosity, um, I, I actually have been inspired to pay it forward. I thank you guys. I'm hoping to make you all proud. Just seeing that investment somebody made in me makes me want to help others have that same opportunity to learn and grow and live out their potential. Because I graduated from UNT, it would, it would just be an honor to come back and, and give back to everyone. To the donors of my scholarship, thank you so much for your generosity. And I hope that for many years to come, you are able to continue donating to the Ryan College of Business and to the department in order to continue helping more students like myself reach their academic goals. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you a million times. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. To the Gbert Ryan College of Business and all of the donors and everyone involved, thank you. Thank you so much for giving us all an opportunity to learn and grow. Thank you. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>
And that's why we're here, truly. From the generous donors that provided the means to help our students succeed, to those students who earned awards, won competitions, and received honors, thank you for making us proud each and every day. I only wish we could have put all of our students up here for everyone to see, but know that we know that you're in the audience, we are thinking of you, and we are proud of each one of you. But now is the part of the program that I know many of you have been waiting for and something that's especially meaningful to us. With us tonight, we have three noteworthy individuals that are deserving of the college's highest praises. All three have accomplished tremendous things in the workplace and in their communities since receiving their degrees, and they all serve as exemplary role models for our students. The first individual I'd like to honor as part of our distinguished alumni group tonight is our 2021 Rising Star. The college's Rising Star Award is given to an alum that has graduated within the past 10 years and has already made great strides in their industry while staying connected to the university and the students who came after them to help make a difference in their lives. This year, it's my great pleasure to announce Jessica Sabedra as our Rising Star awardee. Jessica has 10 years of public accounting experience, six years in human resources, including benefits, talent acquisition, employee relations, employee engagement, and HR compliance. She's an active member of Fort Worth HR, the Greater Tarrant County, and surrounding areas affiliates for the Society of Human Resource Management. Jessica also served on the Emerging Leader Board at the Tarrant County Area Food Bank in 2019 and also participated by giving back in the UNT mentoring program with students pursuing a career in HR. In 2017, Jessica was awarded the Fort Worth HR Inaugural Emerging HR Professional of the Year. She earned her BBA in Organizational Behavior and Human Resource Management from the G. Brent Bryan College of Business and will be featured on Whitley Penn's Financial Series podcast, Start Now, Success Later, which will focus on employer benefits. For all of these reasons and more, we are honored to name Jessica as this year's rising star. So at this time, I'd like to welcome Jessica to your screens to say a few words. Hello. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I'm pleased and honored and humbled to accept this special honor of the Rising Star Award. Uh, I'm thrilled to also be alongside with the two Hall of Famers, uh, G, G. Brent Ryan and Wilson Jones. I would like to give the special thanks to Professor Julie Hancock, who nominated me for, on this special honor, Dean Wiley, who contacted me directly to give me the wonderful news, and UNTG. G. Brent Ryan, College of Business for choosing me to receive this special award. I am thrilled and honored to be joined this evening by the family, by my family, friends, colleagues, uh, and of course, the Mean Green family. If you had asked me back when I was graduated high school at 17, uh, what I would choose as a career path, my answer simply was anything that doesn't involve numbers. So naturally, I avoided any career choices that involved accounting or uh, finance, although a career in accounting and finance is no doubt a rewarding career with exponential growth opportunities. Crunching numbers just wasn't never my forte. <laughs> um, all I knew was that I love con conversing and helping people. Fast forward 10 years later, ironically, I land a job in public accounting. <laughs> Uh, into 2010, I began working for Jones Baggett, a small CPA firm in North Dallas, uh, as a full-time office manager while also attending UNT on a full-time basis. I knew working and attending college what full-time wasn't going to be an easy journey. However, there was no doubt there was no doubt it was a challenge that I was willing to take on for, to, to enhance my my future. In 2014, Jones Baggett was acquired by Whitley Penn a Texas-based middle market firm. With any acquisition in general, you just really don't know what to expect. Given this was the first time I've ever gone through an acquisition, I didn't know whether my position was gonna be eliminated or if the new, the new firm was even allowed the flexibility to continue with my school schedule. Little did I know the transition into Whitley Penn would take a nice turn for the best on the career front. 
During the transition process, I remember Whitley Penn's HR department came in, welcomed us, and gave a fantastic presentation on what to expect during the transition. The level of support, professionalism, and information they provided to us was truly valuable. At that point, I just knew HR was a career that I wanted to pursue. After I obtained my degree, I transferred to the Whitley Penn Fort Worth office. My passion for human resources grew immensely since I began working closely with one of the, one of the most well-respected HR professionals in Fort Worth, our HR director at the time, Becky Vela. She took a chance on me and truly gave me the opportunity, sorry, <laughs> uh, gave me the opportunity to, to work in every aspect of human resources that I could even imagine. And so for this, I will always be grateful. The transfer to Fort Worth office was also, also opened up other doors for me and I was able to get really involved in the community, such as volunteering at the Tarrant Area Food Bank once a month and ultimately becoming the champion for, for our Fort Worth office by communicating to our employees on upcoming volunteering opportunities. Because of the overwhelming participation and dedication, I was honored to be part of the Tarrant Area Food Bank Emerging Leader Board. As my, my passion for HR continued to grow, I also developed a keen interest in mentoring. There is nothing more satisfying than sharing with other inspiring HR professionals the knowledge and wisdom that I have gained, not only through my work experience, but also from the phenomenal professors at UNT. The relationships I've built with the students have been very rewarding. One of the questions that I often get asked is, why did you choose HR as a career? At one point, my answer was, because I'm a people person. That may be true, but there is more than, more than that that you experience when you become an HR professional. Having the ability to touch lives of employees at every stage of their time with the firm has been such a pleasing experience. From the initial time an employee is hired on to seeing an employee leave and continue on to their next chapter in their professional endeavor, endeavors. Being challenged every single day is something I really thrive on. Whether it's finding and hiring new talent or coordinating between management and employees. This profession ultimately allows me to empower employees achieve, achieve, and achieve success. I am very, very grateful that I have been given this opportunity to work in this profession. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. I know the students in the audience now have new goals to strive for looking at your wonderful example. It's just incredible to see how far you've come within such a short time of receiving your degree. And I have no doubt that you will continue to thrive. And we look forward to seeing your name make headlines in the years to come in a good way. And now we have two other very important individuals that I am honored to induct into our Hall of Fame this evening. We are very proud of both of our inductees tonight as they serve as prime examples of business leaders, not only for the college, but for this university and for the community as a whole. The Hall of Fame award is a very special one to us. It really means people who have set a standard for innovation, leadership and achievement, people who continue to be close to their university people who are ethical leaders and who have brought great recognition through their professional accomplishments. These two are among the most distinguished alumni that have ever received a degree from this college. Like our other awardees, it is the highest honor that we can present to our former students. The first Hall of Fame inductee that I'd like to introduce is one of the most humble and admirable individuals I have ever had the pleasure of knowing, Mr. Wilson Jones. Wilson has just retired last week as the president and chief executive officer of Oshkosh Corporation, a position to which he was appointed in January 2016. 
He joined Oshkosh in 2005 as vice president and general manager of the airport products business unit and was then appointed to executive vice president and president of the Oshkosh fire and emergency segment in February 2008. In 2010, Wilson took leadership of the company's access equipment segment, where he helped accelerate global expansion and new product development. In August 2012, he was appointed to President and Chief Operating Officer. As President of Oshkosh, Wilson received national recognition for being one of only 135 companies worldwide to be named among the Ethisphere Institute's world's most ethical companies, leading Oshkosh as a people-first organization. Oshkosh also ranked eighth on Barron's first ever 100 most sustainable companies list. They received the industry mover distinction in the machinery and electrical equipment category from Roboco SAM and earned a Glassdoor Employees Choice Award for being one of the best places to work, in addition to being named, being named a military friendly employer by Victory Media. Wilson himself also received the honor of being ranked one of the top CEOs by Glassdoor with an approval rating of 93% from employees. These recognitions speak volumes about the man that Wilson is, how deeply he cares for his team and the culture that he built at Oshkosh Corporation. And even with all the success, Wilson still finds time to give back. He volunteered to speak as the college's distinguished speaker in 2018, and again was a featured guest during UNT, UNT's Alumni Live series last year. He and his wife, Jane, have also generally, generously supported many programs and scholarships at the college, including the Wilson and Jane Jones Scholarship, which was established in 2018, and whose recipient is with us tonight. We are extremely proud to call Wilson an alumnus of the G. Brent Ryan College of Business, and I am thrilled to have the pleasure of inviting him onto your screens this evening to accept his Hall of Fame honor. Well, thank you, Dean Wiley. That's uh, such kind words. I, I, I really don't, uh, I'm a little bit of a loss here, but it, it, is, it is kind of funny how things work out. I can remember when you came to my office in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, you, you, you ventured into Cheeseland, and you're telling me about this uh, Hall of Fame honor. And I'm, first, I thought, well, you're you're kidding with me. Some of my Texas buddies have, have put you up to this, but then after talking more, uh, I realized it was a real deal. And I think I'm still in shock from it. But you know, things do work out for for the best at times, even in this COVID world we've been dealing with. Um, with my retirement uh, finishing up last Friday. Uh, I can't think of a better exclamation point to have this tonight, uh, to, to, to accept this Hall of Fame induction, which is something that, quite honestly, I never dreamed of. And I know there are thousands of alumni that are probably more deserving of this award than me. And so I really do appreciate it. Another really neat thing for me uh, is in my 16 years with the Oshkosh Corporation, I was blessed with some really great people to work with. And uh, the four presidents that I worked with uh, are here uh, tonight, and uh, they've been hanging out with me for a couple of days. And so even more special to kind of put that exclamation point. And again, I can't, I can't thank the university enough. And I also want to thank you, Dean Wiley, and Stan Walker, Jessica Stanky, uh, Tabitha for helping me and, and Jane get reconnected. Uh, we really enjoyed uh, getting more involved and helping those students that are working uh, their way through school uh, like, like we both did. And we look forward to continuing that with our going the extra mile fund that we've developed now. You know, I, I said it earlier, I've been very blessed, uh, very fortunate, probably more lucky than good. Um, but all that it, uh, really helps when you have a great wife, my wife, Jane, my family, uh, awesome friends that a lot of them are, are joining us tonight. Uh, I've certainly appreciated their support over the years. Uh, but tonight, I really want to give a heartfelt thanks for uh, the University of North Texas. I probably didn't realize it uh, as I was working to, to get out of school, uh, but the school, um, my work there, the relationships I've built really uh, gave me a foundation, a foundation I think that, that has helped me um, in my career, a uh, foundation of perseverance, a foundation of the idea to dream big, uh, work hard, and then to stay humble and, and put people first. And, and those things that I learned while I was going to school, um, I've used those through my 30 plus years of, of a career. And so for that, 
uh, I'm very thankful uh, for what University of North Texas uh, has done for me from a foundational standpoint. And I'm, I'm really pleased that uh, Jay and I are able to, to give back in, in some ways. Uh, I, I do want to just tell a quick story. Um, and, and maybe if some of the students will get something out of this and maybe even the faculty. And I, I was a junior, and I was really struggling. I was working a couple of jobs. Uh, personal life wasn't, wasn't the best. Um, just not a lot of good things going on. And I really had about, uh, just about decided that uh, it would be better for me to withdraw from school, go earn some money, and then uh, I wouldn't have to work as much and I could study more. And I had a professor, uh, Dr. Chuck Bimberley, in a, a production materials management class. And it was kind of like what we heard um, earlier tonight uh, in that he had a almost a sixth sense that there was something going on with me and he didn't know, but uh, he encouraged me a couple of different times and he, he used the term, um, you got to push through and, and get rid of those self-imposed barriers. And I think up to that point, I probably had been a little more on the immature side and thought, you know, I'm a victim. It just doesn't work for me and all the reasons why I can't. And uh, he woke me up and also to the point where I, there was no way I could quit after uh, he encouraged me like that. And so, you know, students, I'd, I'd say, push through those self-imposed barriers. You, you can do it. And then for our faculty members, please keep encouraging our, our students. You just never know what, what people are going through. So I just want to, again, congratulate Jessica and, and Brent. It's an honor to be uh, uh, mentioned tonight with both of them. And I certainly uh, want to thank the university, uh, Dean Wiley. Uh, it's a great honor. And uh, I wish I had better words to say. I'm still at a, at a bit of a loss here. But I guess I'll finish by saying go Mean Green. Thank you. Perfect way to end. And thank you so much for those heartfelt words, Wilson. You truly have proven yourself to be a tremendous leader and an exemplary role model for our college. We are so happy that our students could hear you tonight and that we could honor you this evening by adding your name to our list of distinguished alumni. Now, last but certainly not least, I would like to honor our final Hall of Fame inductee of the evening, Mr. G. Brent Bryan whose name you might have noticed on our letterhead and business cards lately. It's no secret that Brent has been the most transformational alumnus for our college since we were founded nearly 75 years ago. In 2019, he gifted the university the largest donation in its history, $30 million. With that, we took on a new name and new possibilities. Brent is a remarkable individual who has received many awards and acknowledgements from UNT in the past, including the prestigious Wings of Eagles Presidential Award, the Distinguished Alumnus Award, and the Outstanding Alumnus Service Award. He was also the Alumnus of the Year, a recipient of the Distinguished Alumni Award from Pi Kappa Alpha, his fraternity, and he received the Distinguished Alumnus Award, award from the Beta Pi chapter of Beta Alpha Psi. Brent is founder, chairman, and CEO of Ryan LLC, an award-winning global tax services and software provider, and the largest firm in the world dedicated exclusively to business taxes. Ryan is a seven-time recipient of the International Service Excellence Award from the Customer Service Institute of America for its commitment to world-class client service. Empowered by the dynamic My Ryan Work Environment, which is widely recognized as the most innovative in the tax services in industry, Brent's multidisciplinary team of more than 2,800 professionals and associates serves over 16,000 clients in more than 50 countries, including, sorry, including, um, Love the Zoom calls. Forgive me, Brent. Um, Brent has also been the recipient of numerous other awards and honors, including the 2017 Distinguished Business Leader Award from the Texas Association of Business for his outstanding contributions to job growth and economic development in the state of Texas. He won the Employee's Choice Award, recognizing the highest rated CEOs by Glassdoor. He's ranked 44 out of the 100 chief executives, making him the highest ranked CEO in Dallas-Fort Worth and the second highest rated CEO in the entire state of Texas. 
Brent was also recognized as one of the top 25 most powerful people in the state of Texas by Texas Monthly Magazine. He has held a number of appointments in board positions during his tenure, including his appointment on a taxpayer advisory group and the Texas Select Committee on Economic Development. Most recently, he served as chairman for the Texas Back to Work Task Force created by Lieutenant Governor Patrick for his efforts in restarting the Texas economy during the pandemic. Brent was first appointed to the UNT System Board of Regents in 2009 and was reappointed to the board in 2015. We are honored to have his leadership, generosity, and drive at the forefront of this college, and I could not be more proud to introduce Mr. G. Brent Ryan onto our virtual stage. Dean Wiley, thank you very much. You know, I am so proud of all that you've accomplished. You know, I'm certainly proud to be part of the Hall of Fame. Uh, and I'm very honored that you would consider me for this very prestigious award. But I got to tell you, after sitting here for the better part of an hour, as you go through the accomplishments of the College of Business, I'm just amazed at what you've accomplished. And I'm so proud and excited about the investment Amanda and I have made in the future uh, of the UNT College of Business. Uh, my hat's off to you. You, you. you all, you and your team, Marilyn, have just done a terrific job and you make us so proud. You know, I want to thank a number of people for the opportunity to be here tonight and accept this award. The, the first is to the Lord and for all the blessings and the grace that he's shown me over the last 57 years. I also want to thank my wife, Amanda, who has put up with me for the last 25 years as of last week. Honey, come over here. Come over here. I want to just say a big thank you to Amanda. Uh, I can do this since we're virtual. Uh, we probably couldn't do this if you were on stage, but honey, I love you. I thank love you. you. I thank my family because, you know, I could not have imagined almost 40 years ago when I came to the University of North Texas, I came from a little dusty West Texas town uh, with uh, $300 and a Buick. Uh, and all the things, uh, Marilyn, that's been accomplished, I couldn't have imagined that. I mean, if you had told me that back in 1982, I would have thought you were completely stark raving mad. And I think it's a testament to the power of education. I think it's a testament to the power and the mission of UNT and, and more specifically the UNT G. Brent Ryan College of Business. I've just seen in the last 12 years of my tenure on the Board of Regents such a huge impact that our flagship university makes. And I'm so proud to be a part of the leadership team uh, working with President Smotrisk uh, and Chancellor Rowe and all of the leaders uh, you know, across North Texas that make this institution what it is. I can tell you this, for all of you students out there, uh, for everybody buddy joining, there's no more powerful force on earth uh, to change one's life and to put you in a position for success. Obviously, we've been very blessed. Uh, we've had the opportunity to, to give back. Uh, we've had the opportunity to invest. And I can tell you, my most important value and my firm's most important value is generosity matters. You know, we learned a long time ago that you can't really have, you know, success really isn't that f much fun if you don't have anybody to share it with. And Amanda and I have been able to share this with the entire uh, UNT College of Business and what you've done with it, Dean Wiley, is just incredible. I just can't wait to see the continuing impact of it. Uh, and I know that long after I'm gone, long after I'm just a plaque on the wall in the Hall of Fame, uh, it's going to continue to have a huge impact. It's going to be a driver for our region and for our state. Uh, and I'm just so appreciative that I was able to give back in this way. And it's just it's just so exciting uh, to know and see what you're doing with it and the impact that it's having. Uh, and so 
my hats off to all of you, to the entire leadership team, uh, Dean Wiley, and uh, uh, everybody that makes UNT so special. Thank you so much for this award. And thank you, Brent, for all that you do and for the leadership that you've shown. Students, you saw three exemplary leaders that have taken their UNT education to achieve great things. And we want you to see them as the possibilities of what you too can achieve. It's so exciting to hear their stories. It's such a wonderful honor for us to be able to recognize them. And we're so grateful for what they do for us, but for the examples that they set and the honors that they bring to UNT. This has truly been an evening to remember, and I hope that you all have enjoyed it just as much as I have. I would like to personally thank you all for attending tonight. As always, I'm amazed by the accomplishment of our students and our alumni, and I could not be prouder to be the Dean of this college. I look forward to seeing all of your faces in person soon, but I'm still glad that we could celebrate this evening and I hope that it felt special to you as well. I want to take a moment to thank our, um, our production team for tonight's program, Jessica Steinke, Michael Farrell, Cheryl McQueen, Jake Straka, Blair Smith, and Tabitha Suval. They make everything happen and I just get to sit back and enjoy it with the rest of you. And we are lucky to have them and very grateful for their support. Please feel free now to stick around, to stick around for our special after party event featuring, featuring our live dueling pianos. Either navigate back to the event's homepage agenda or click on the link that has just been posted in the chat for you. It's gonna be a lot of fun, an opportunity to dance in your living room and request your favorites and hear some wonderful music. Thank you all so much and I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs>